Conishta, uh, waiting lists for driving tests are at ridiculously long uh, lengths. Uh, in my area, the worst in the country, it's over 50 weeks. Uh, in nationally, it's about 30 weeks. Um, and in many cases, this means people who've got jobs which are dependent on having a driving license, uh, those jobs are lost, or people who have relatives they need to care for, elderly or vulnerable or disabled uh, relatives. Uh, they need a driving license because public transport isn't available to uh, move people around and they can't because they're waiting a year. Forza say that despite commitments to address this problem, that actually the RSA is not recruiting full-time staff, that contract staff are not having their contracts renewed, uh, and they seem to be essentially outsourcing you, to contract staff, Thank many of whom are not even properly Your qualified. Uh, will you address this as a matter of urgency? First of all, the Department of Transport has responded swiftly to alleviate the demand pressure by sanctioning the recruitment of 75 the additional driver testers in March of 2023, and that was in addition to the 30 permanent testers who were previously sanctioned in July 2022. So this brings the total number of sanctioned driver tester posts to 205, which is more than double the 100 sanctioned driver in, uh, tester posts in June 2022. Um, that said, uh, as of the 31st of December, the average waiting um, estimated time to invite for a candidate was 22.5 weeks, which is above the accepted service level agreement of 10 weeks. And the Minister, uh, Jack Chambers, has been in direct contact with the authority. Um, and um, there, there is clearly uh, 41 additional testers have, uh, have joined the Road Safety Authority. So uh, ongoing work, the Minister is very conscious of it and will continue to increase capacity.